Hey YouTube, uh, Rob back again, another video. Um, that was actually my, my third attempt at recording this. Um, I did sort of make a beginning to this video when I was driving around and explaining what I was doing. Uh, I was doing an out and about video, uh, vlog style video. I actually deleted that by accident, so I have to redo it again. So I'll do this intro and then I'll sort of tack it on, tack the second bit on. So there might be a bit of a jump between this first part and the second part. But Anyway, just thought I'd explain that. Uh, yeah, so as I said before, I'm just out for uh, doing a bit of movie hunting uh, with my friend Garfield here. He's uh, coming along for the ride with me. Uh, he's sitting down here next to me. Um, yeah, so just doing a sort of vlog movie hunt style video. So I've already done all that. It's actually sitting here, all stuff that I bought. So, but we'll just pretend I haven't actually been yet. Uh, yeah, so I've just. So I'll sort of go across well, what I was sort of talking about at the beginning of the video. Um, I did sort of watch a sort of a Kickstarter sort of uh, campaign just before I left the house. It's one which I thought was quite interesting. I only had a quick look at it, so I'm not really quite sure all the ins and outs of it. But um, there was one on there. That some guys was they wanted to sort of make some some cables for um, life of the you know Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and stuff, just because some sort of the because the newer TVs aren't necessarily compatible uh, with sort of the older sort of consoles and. Uh, a few sort of problems there. So these cables are, um, I'm pretty sure there are already cables that do exist that sort of do that, that do sort of, you know, help you play the old consoles on the, the new HD TVs. But I think these are a bit more, from what I understood anyway, they're a bit more high tech and uh, they do actually, not necessarily HD quality, I don't necessarily think, but they do sort of squeeze out as much as they sort of can out of the console. I see so they've done a bit of programming and sort of, you know, getting the, must, the best they can out of the sort of the older sort of consoles. Uh, which I thought was a you know really cool idea, and so I'll leave a link to that below. Uh, as for I haven't sort of had a huge look at it yet, so it might not be might be good or it might be a bad thing. I don't know. But it worth be worth checking out though. I thought it was quite interesting. So I'll leave a, yeah I'll leave a link to link for that um, down below. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's all I was talking about in the first part. Uh, so I'll stop this now, and yeah, we'll go on to the second part. So you'll see me driving along in a second. Uh, second thing is I might just do a, a bit of a rant. Uh, just about my personal life, which I don't really like talking about my personal life that much, but uh, which, I, which is sort of part of the ring, I suppose. Uh, just, I don't know, it's about people just asking me personal questions, um, which, you know, for the most part, don't really, doesn't bother me that much. Uh, but I just had a few people <laughs> recently ask me, you know, because I'm, I'm single, I'm, you know, I'm not married, so people, you know, People want to know, oh, you know, why are you single and why aren't you married yet? Yeah. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Just that a bit. Um, you know, I don't know, it just doesn't sort of bother me that much, but sometimes it does. Like, you know, people should learn to mind their own business, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know, but it's just, yeah. <laughs> the real is, though, like, I think on a Friday afternoon, I think today's uh, Sunday. Um, one of the girl, women, well, one of the women that I work with, she's not a, she's about 50, so she's not a, you know, a young girl by any means. And being that age, I think she should probably know better. <laughs> anyway, she's, this is sort of this big running joke. To, this is a, uh, a girl that used to work with us. Uh, used to actually be promoted and she's actually a manager of uh, one of our stores now. But anyway, um, there's a big green joke that I, that I had a, you know, that we had a bit of a thing going and I had the hots for her, you know, sort of thing. But anyway, but she apparently she, uh, this girl came into work on uh, Thursday afternoon, it would have been actually, and, um, you know, basically she, she told her that, you know, she, she, that she had an admirer, which, which of course was me. <laughs> and like, you know, why on earth would you say that? Why would you, um, you know, and that really sort of pissed me off that, you know, it's fair enough to sort of have a bit of a joke, private joke, and, you know, steal me up and say, oh, you know, you've got, you've got the hots for her, and, you know, like, it's, it's harmless, I suppose, but not, but to actually sort of tell, tell this girl to her face that, essentially, that I had a bit of a thing for her, you know, I, you should do that, I mean, come on, like, it's like high school, that's what you sort of did in high school, but like, ah, oh, jeez, so, I mean, you know, I, don't know, I guess it's not necessarily a big deal, but I mean, it could be a big deal. You know, you're obviously giving this girl the wrong impression about me that, you know, that I've obviously got the, 
bit of a thing for her. So, I don't know. So I don't know what that's, you know, something of that's, I mean, you know, she's, I don't know, what's going to happen from that? She's, she's going to send me a message, you know, things that she's got, you know, you know, that I might be interested in going out with her or something. Um, you know, mate, she's a nice girl and, you know, I'll be honest, I'll probably do check her out occasionally. She's not a, too bad looking, but, um, you know, but I, end of the day, I have no real interest in pursuing that or, you know, I don't know, no interest in sort of going there, um, for a few different reasons, I won't just sort of go into the, the reasons necessarily, but one of the reasons she has, she does actually have a boyfriend, and I've known a boyfriend for quite a while, and I've known him, you know, a long time before I even knew her, so, you know, I'm not going to, you know, go out of my way to sort of steal someone, someone's girlfriend, you know what I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't do that, I mean, come on, but I mean, I don't know, I just... Why would you sort of tell someone that, you know, that I had the hots for it when, you know, even if I did or didn't, I mean, it's up to me, I'm a big boy, I can, you know, ask a girl out if I wanted to, and, you know, I don't, I don't like people interfering, you know, my personal life like that, I mean, it's, no one else's business, you know what I mean? Alright. Um... You know, I, you know, I did sort of take it, try to take it a bit of a joke and, um, you know, took it for a bit of fun, I suppose, but, and she did sort of, you know, <laughs> she did apologise about it a bit later on. You know, I sort of just laughed it off, but, it, you know, it did sort of piss me off, though. I mean, come on, like, shouldn't be going and saying that sort of stuff. I mean, come on. You know, it's only going to cause problems between, you know, me and this girl if I, you know, like she doesn't necessarily work with us anymore, which is, you know, it's always a good thing, but I'm still... Still probably going to see her again, though, so, around the place, so, I don't know, it might, you know, it might be a problem, it might not be, I mean, I'll have to wait and see, but, you know, I just, I don't know, I just wish she hadn't sort of said something like that to, to her, you know what I mean, it's totally, you know, I sort of said before that they do step up about it, but for me this, you know, this just came out of the blue, I don't know where she got this, you know, idea or thought it would be a good idea to sort of say that, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not sure she's had the views I'm actually um, on my way to a sort of second hand store for a, um, a bit of a look. Um, it's always Sunday. I'm not even quite sure whether they're open or not. I was going to go yesterday, uh, big Saturday. But, and they're open on Saturdays, but I'm not quite sure about Sunday. But anyway, I'll go for a drive and uh, sort of see what's going on. So, um, yeah, I'll do that and I'll come back if I, you know, if I buy something, I'll show you. And, yeah, anyway, so I'll be back soon. Okay, so I'm home now. Uh, I did manage to sort of uh, find a few things to buy, so I'll, I'll show you what I got. Uh, just a few sort of second-hand uh, DVDs. We'll start off, start off with them. Uh, I bought this one because it was uh, really cheap. I was actually quite surprised at uh, how cheap it was. Um, that's uh, Hulk Hogan, a three-disc set. Uh, it supposedly uh, contains sort of it's like 27 unreleased matches. Um, I was a sort of a big sort of wrestling fan uh, back when I was a lot younger. Uh, not so much uh, these days. Uh, this is only like three dollars, and I think for a three disc set for three dollars, I really couldn't uh, pass that up. It's a very nice sort of uh, digi book style uh, edition, which I thought was uh, very cool. So I really couldn't pass that up, <laughs> even though I probably won't. won't I mean, I'm sure I'll watch it perhaps eventually, but um, I just it was just sort of uh, too good to sort of leave there, I thought. So, for three bucks, I mean, go on. That's Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Picked up a, uh, one called uh, Kiss of Death. Uh, she looks sounds like a bit of a sort of a film noir style movie. Um, just sort of sound uh, quite interesting. So, I think oh, that was only... Well, I think I got this all for 20 bucks, which I thought was actually a really good deal. Uh, the guy, the guy sort of uh, knocked a bit off. So um, yeah, that's kiss of death. Um, for the recent, one, I think from last year, this is only three dollars as well. I couldn't believe it. that was quite cheap. I thought as well actually. Uh, Zero Dark Thirty, down from was it thirty, forty dollars originally. I got it for three. That's um, you know quite a bargain. 
Uh, I think this is all about sort of the capture of um, Bin Laden, isn't it, I think? Um, I think I've heard this is not, not too bad. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that a bit of a watch. And for, yeah, three bucks, I couldn't, couldn't pass that up. Uh, next on to DVDs. Uh, sorry, onto on to Blu-rays now. Uh, I've got a three-disc set, um, three-movie collection. Uh, what is it? The Searchers, The Wild Bunch, and How the West Was Won. Uh, nine bucks, which is another pretty good deal, I thought, really. Um, yeah, oh, this actually looks quite good. I haven't sort of seen any of these movies, but um, I've sort of heard people talk about them before. So, uh, sort of classic movies, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so that was a good pick-up, I thought. Uh, finally, I thought this was, this was probably the, uh, well, the Blu-ray pick-up of the day, I thought. Uh, all from I did, anyway. Uh, it's not the original case, which is probably why it was... Uh, so cheap. Um, it's uh, Robocop, uh, the remake. I think it actually gets, you know, it's a remake, so it does get a lot of a lot of negative views and a lot of shit. Uh, but I actually quite enjoyed it when I watched it in the cinema. I thought it was actually pretty good, I thought, really. Uh, I guess I'm probably uh, in the minority uh, with that one. Um, I actually might give it a, perhaps another watch to sort of see if whether it, you know, still holds up. But um, I remember you know, quite enjoying it. Um, yeah, so I can look forward to giving that another watch at uh, some point. Yeah, this is definitely not the original original case, but um, it's definitely it's the Blu-ray edition. So, um, yeah, I couldn't pass that up. That's very cool. Uh, so that's, uh, that's all the movies. Um, but I did sort of, I actually got home and was on Facebook and uh, on my local sort of gaming Facebook pages and uh, someone was saying that they picked up... Um, this one here, <laughs> uh, Skylanders Giants uh, starter pack for nine dollars um, from the local Kmart store, um, which I thought was a, a really great deal. Um, so I went down to my local Kmart and they had this for fifteen dollars. I showed them the you know the uh, the posts on my phone. The, they didn't really <laughs> want to honour it, um, but I don't know for fifteen dollars I still thought it was um, you know pretty cool. Um, I might perhaps just sort of leave this one sealed, I reckon. It's only $15, so I really couldn't pass that up and um, just need another sort of thing to add to my uh, Wii U collection or gaming collection. Um, I think you can buy this, I think other sites I did sort of see for about $15 as well. So it wasn't necessarily a huge bargain, I suppose. But other places have got it for like, you know, 30 or 40 or, you know, uh, a lot more money. But um, I don't know. I thought 15 bucks was still a good deal. I didn't get it for nine, but. Uh, yeah, but I thought that was, you know, still a good deal, $15. Uh, so that's my game pick-up as well. Uh, yeah, so that's my little video, sort of a vlog, rant, pick-up, movie pick-up and game pick-up. Uh, stop video, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye.